All right, guys, we're going to look at the arm now. <clears throat> Showing the arm muscles. Here we can see the deltoid. Here's the spine of our scapula, so we can um, see this muscle above the scapula, which in this case is actually trapezius, because that's the superficial muscle that lies on top of the scapula here. Underneath of this, you'd have supraspinatus. That we'll see on there. Underneath, you have your infraspinatus. This would also be trapezius here. Teres minor, teres major. Here's your deltoid again. Looking at um, this lateral aspect of the arm, you can see part of your biceps brachii here. This would be the long head. Here's your brachialis right on the bone underneath your biceps brachii. And this right here is your triceps muscle. In this case, the long lateral head, excuse me, of the triceps brachii. This would be the long head of the triceps brachii. If we take the deltoid off, you can see the long head going right here between teres minor and teres major. So lateral head of the triceps brachii, long head of the triceps brachii. If we look to the other side, medial aspect, we can see the medial head of the triceps brachii muscle. Remember, triceps means three heads. So medial, long, and lateral head of the triceps brachii. The biceps brachii, bi means two, so you have two heads to this muscle. This is the long head of the biceps brachii. This tendon, remember, goes up and over the top of the humerus, which makes it long. This is the short head of the biceps brachii muscle attaching to that coracoid process here of the scapula. Looking on the inside of the arm, next to the short head of the biceps brachii muscle, you have your brachio, uh, coracobrachialis, sorry, coracobrachialis muscle right next to biceps brachii short head. They have a common origin right here on that coracoid process of the scapula. Teres major, and you can see your subscapularis under the scapula in that subscapular fossa. So that's pretty much all of the upper arm. This is just a different view of your brachialis muscle under the biceps. Now we'll move down into the forearm. And we'll take a look here at the elbow, the inner elbow. And we can see our brachioradialis coming down from the upper portion of the arm, the brachium, brachioradialis, making a V with the brachioradialis at the elbow here is the pronator teres. This muscle pronates the forearm, pronator teres. Pronator teres, brachioradialis, make a V. Then we can look at our wrist and finger flexors on this side. So we're moving from the pronator teres going medially. And we have this muscle right here, which is our flexor carpi radialis. Notice it's on the side of the thumb. In the middle here, superficial, going to the palm, we have our palmaris longus. Next to that, we can see our flexor digitorum superficialis. And you can see muscle fibers for that muscle all underneath of these tendons here. And then we have our flexor carpi ulnaris on the pinky side of the hand. If we go back to the brachioradialis and we can do our extensors, so now we're moving laterally towards the thumb and over the top of the hand, over the dorsal aspect of the arm. This is your extensor carpi radialis because it's on the radial side. In this case, we have a longus and a brevis. So extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis. We have the extensor for the digits, so extensor digitorum. 
Next to that, we have our extensor that's going to go to the pinky. Extensor digiti minimi. Right here, and you can follow that tendon all the way down to the pinky. It's important to follow tendons when you're working with the, arm, the muscles of the uh, forearm. That will help you figure out what muscle you're actually looking at. And then here we have our last muscle, the extensor carpi ulnaris on the ulnar side of the wrist. This little one by the elbow is your anconius. Now we have two other muscles in the forearm that work the thumb that we need to talk about, and that's these two right here. This one abducts the thumb, abducts the thumb, takes the thumb away from the body. This is your abductor long, pollicis longus, pollicis because this is the pollux. Abductor pollicis longus. And this one right here is an extensor for the thumb extensor pollicis brevis. This one's long, so you have add longus to the word. This one's short, so you add short to the word. Now we have a deep muscle that you'll have to take the brachioradialis off to see, and that's your antagonistic muscle for your pronator. Remember these muscles are always, they always have a pair, another match that works the opposite way. This is the pronator teres, and this is the supinator. Pronator teres pronates the forearm, supinator supinates the forearm, or put your hand palm up. Now we're going to look at these same muscles on a different arm, deltoid. In this case, supraspinatus, it's deep. Here's the spine of your scapula. Infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major. Biceps brachii, long head, short head, coracobrachialis, brachialis, brachialis, triceps brachii lateral head, triceps brachii long head, triceps brachii medial head. Looking at the forearm. Starting at the V, brachioradialis, pronator teres. Doing the flexors. Flexor carpi radialis, thumb side. Palmaris longus, superficial to the palm. Flexor digitorum superficialis to the digits. Flexor carpi ulnaris to the pinky side. Looking at your extensors, here's brachioradialis again, extensor carpi radialis longus, thumb, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum, extensor digiti minimi going to the little finger, just this little piece, extensor carpi ulnaris on the thumb side, anconius by the elbow. Thumb muscles, abductor pollicis longus, extensor pollicis brevis. Deep muscle, supinator. Pronator teres, supinator. Same ones again, just a different view. Deltoid. Spine of the scapula, so infraspinatus, teres minor, teres major. Supraspinatus, this is trapezius. Trapezius is superficial to the supraspinatus. You can see the cut edge here. Here's the spine of the scapula. Biceps brachii, short head, long head. Coracobrachialis. brachialis, triceps brachii, lateral head, long head between the two teres muscles, medial head, forearm, 
pronator teres, brachioradialis, flexors, flexor carpi radialis, palmaris longus, flexor digitorum superficialis, all underneath palmaris longus, flexor carpi ulnaris on the pinky side. Back to brachioradialis, extensors, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, notice the thumb, extensor digitorum, extensor digiti minimi going to the pinky, extensor carpi ulnaris on the ulnar side. Anconius by the elbow. Abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis doing the thumb. Under brachioradialis is your deep muscle, the supinator. Here's your pronator teres, here's the supinator. It's important when you're doing the arm to make sure you look at these bent arms here that we have in the lab. I've pretty much shown you all the different examples. There might be a few that look a little different, but it's the, big, the majority of what we have. But you need to make sure you look at these uh, 90 degree arms because the muscles look a little different. Here we see a little piece of the deltoid. Most of it's been cut off. This right here is your brachialis muscle. Here's your biceps brachii. Here's your triceps brachii. Notice the brachialis is sandwiched between those two biceps and triceps. Biceps brachii, this would be the long head over here, this would be the short head here. Right next to the short head of the biceps brachii, you have your coracobrachialis. Here's more brachialis here. Triceps, this would be the long head, medial head, lateral head. So lateral, long, medial. The forearm, we can still go to the middle and still start with those same two muscles, pronator teres and brachioradialis. So if we work from pronator and do our flexors, the first one is flexor carpi radialis, going to the thumb. Then we have our palmaris longus. Notice how different it looks on this model. It looks like it's coming from the side, and it is because the hand is turned. But this is palmaris longus. If you follow the tendon, you see it goes all the way down to the palm, palmaris longus. So underneath of that, you can see your flexor digitorum superficialis. The next one we have is our flexor carpi ulnaris. There's your pinky. Okay, now we're to the ulna bone. That's where we stop for our flexors. We go back to the middle where we have our brachioradialis and our pronator teres, and we go the other direction for our extensors extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor digitorum, extensor digiti minimi, and extensor carpi ulnaris, pinky. To the elbow, we have our anconius. To the thumb, we have our two muscles, abductor pollicis longus and ab, I'm sorry, extensor pollicis brevis. You can't see the supinator on this one because you can't take any muscles off. And that's it for the arm.